Hey, how are ya? Hi, I'm back home in good old Michigan. And I'm depressed. <laughs> I've been home for like a week now. Actually like two weeks. And the depression has hit. Depression has set in. And I was starting to feel it come on when I was about to get ready to leave. Oh, I got a dragonfly. But let me roll my window out so it doesn't fly up in here. Oh my god, the way it's just sitting on the... Oh my god, the way it's literally just sitting on the handle of that car. Just I've never seen one just be... Actually, yes, I have. I take that back. Okay. Noted, dragonfly. I see you. That's always like a spiritual symbolism whenever I see a dragonfly. But anyways, I felt myself getting depressed about coming back home because I know that I get depressed when I'm at home. So, like, I've just been for and and, oh! and I've been on my period. It just flew away. Animals just flew into my fucking car. Um. But I can't think straight right now. Anyways, I'm home. Oh, I was gonna say, I started my period and last week I was on my period or this past week I was on my period. And it was like the worst period ever on day two. I threw up felt like shit and now I'm trying to just like nurse my mental health and everything back together and me coming home isn't the only reason why I'm depressed it's just that like my money's dwindling down like if you are not new here you know that back in 2022 about to be 2023 I quit my job so I've like just been like riding out on my savings for the last year and a half and like that's coming to an end and I'm still like not sure about what I want to do with my life like I know the things that I can and I cannot do and that I don't want to get myself back into because of my mental health and stuff so it's just like I'm going through a lot internally right now and I'm trying to just balance it all out and like not be so like not be overwhelmed not be stressed and just know that like it's gonna work out this isn't the first time that I've been in this kind of like emotional turmoil. I'm just getting fucking sick of going through it. Not to mention like I haven't, like I don't have the support of my dad how I used to. We're not as close as we used to be. Um, and that's like taking a toll on my mental health. And the fact that like it wasn't as real. Like I haven't talked about my family issues on here because like this place and it's not going to be a space of me like dumping my trauma on here like maybe I'll talk about stuff like in the future if I like gain a following who like cares about what I'm saying but like this just isn't the platform where I just want to like vent about shit because honestly that doesn't help the case for me personally um but like the situation with my dad has been like hurting me just a lot of things with my family has been hurting me and it's like this is the first time in my life where I'm in such a vulnerable place and don't have like anyone to like talk to about it so besides my grandma my grandma has been like my support system for the last for this like whole year pretty much and I'm grateful that she just listens to me but yeah so I'm keeping my word by continuing to post on YouTube but right now I just have like no inspiration no motivation um and I'm just trying to figure out the stupid parts of life which is like the stability of like your finances and stuff like that so right now I'm just like not in a chipper place at the fuck all so we'll see what this video has in store um yeah honestly i, I to what today holds is i'm door dashing like that's what every day pretty much for the foreseeable future is gonna have to entail
I don't know. I'm just like not in a good spot right now. And I hate putting myself on like camera when I don't have a vibe that I feel like I want to like share with the public. But I'm getting over that because I have like I'm human and I'm not always fucking happy. And I'm not always encouraging and I'm not always uplifting and yada 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 yada. So yeah. <clears throat> Stay tuned for the rest of the day, I guess. Or don't. At this point I genuinely don't care. That's my attitude. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go DoorDash. It's noon. I have to start door dashing at one. And the reason why I door dash is because like I like that. Like from going from being a salesperson and having to like have a team and like do real shit in corporate America. Like I don't want to have to talk to any fucking body in the jobs that I'm doing until I start living my dream life. Like if I could live a dream life, it would be I just had um a place to live like my dream home be able to decorate it have like an outside area all that kind of stuff like live comfortably exactly how I want to and then I'd pursue all of my little side quests that I love to do like I'd sing I'd play instruments I'd do activities I'd like have a garden I just do a, like all that like if I have my basic like stability of like a place to live that I actually enjoyed being at and like you know all that and didn't have to worry about the bills for it or anything then I would definitely just like do my passions I'd like make time to like paint I, I have like I like to do a bunch of things so like I just do a bunch of different things every day like like Brett Mimrock. Like I'm supposed to be living the life Brett Mimrock is. To be honest with you. It stole my life. Before I could get a hold of it. <laughs> no. But yeah like. Literally like live in Hawaii. It doesn't have to be Hawaii. But it just has to be like. Somewhere that's nice. And like has a beat. Like just everything. That I need. And um. Yeah. But until then, I'm door dashing because that is honestly what I want to fucking do. It's the way I have a whole ass degree and I'm deciding that I want to door dash because, like, I don't think anyone understands the, like, trauma that I experienced in corporate America the five years. <sighs> that I was working there like no so I don't want to go back into that environment and I know I can get a job at like a store or something and I don't want to do that like I don't want to have to deal with just I don't want to have to deal with what I don't want to have to deal with I'm putting my foot down and I know that's going to come with me being like broke for a second or not, I'm not even going to speak brokenness into my existence. I'm just hoping that miracles do happen. I'm trying to see if the universe is real. Like, I've been trying to see. I'm getting signs from the universe, but I'm trying to see if, like, manifestation is real. I haven't, I'll let you know when I manifest my true dreams. I've manifested. I believe in that. I definitely believe that what you put your energy towards, you will achieve. What you, where your energy goes is what manifests. And if you believe that it's possible, that's basically manifestation. And that's just the laws of the universe. But I'm talking about when you don't, when you live outside of society and what they gave for you to survive that's the true test of does the universe provide when you step out of the matrix if you will so i'll let you know if that happens to me 
anyways I needed to gua sha to feel something oh yeah baby oh yeah oh yeah mm. oh shit and get a little in here, get a little, and voila. Okay, let's see what DoorDash has to hold. Let's like, let's like hope I make like 200 bucks today. That would be amazing. If I made 200 bucks today, I'd actually like feel like I did something in life. So let's see how today goes. Okay, I gotta stop being depressed. Come on, snap out of it. We got this, okay? I am not getting down in the dumps. I really was almost gonna let myself be down in the dumps. No. You know what I noticed? Is that like the morning time and like daytime is like hard for me. And then like the nighttime, I'm like chilling. The nighttime, I'm vibing. I'm having fun. But like the daytime is like, I'm going through emotions. But, I have to remember that everything's going to be okay. Um, I just got two new Oracle decks. Sacred Spirit. And then this one's so cute and amazing. This one's an Astrology Oracle deck. So pretty. Look at the boxing. So pretty. Like... So yeah, so I just pulled some cards. I'm going to start pulling some cards. Um, I also thought about, I want to start like making different videos. Like I need to start just like doing instead of like being in my head about the fact that I'm not like where I want to be like stability wise, but like remember that I need to be like in the present moment that I do have the time that I've been like wanting to like do shit, but I like haven't been doing shit cause I've been like so kind of like in my head about the fact that I'm like living at my grandma's and like my money situation, yada yada. But it's like, it's not about the money right now. It's about the fact that I'm able to do the things I need to do to build my life in the way that I want to build it up. It's not about the fucking money. Like, I need to let go of the fact that I had worked, like, my way up to the pay that I was making when I was working at LinkedIn. I quit that job, like, <coughs> like, I knew when I quitted that that meant, like, I was gonna go back being broke after that. Like, I knew that that was gonna come with it. It's just the fact that, like, it's happening is, like, kind of scary, but I need to remember that like where I'm at in my life right now, even though I'm living at my grandma's and et cetera, I have the freedom and the peace of mind that I need to pursue what I want. Of course, there's like the, um, you know, inner child healing and all that kind of shit too that I've been doing. Just all that kind of shit. Yeah, we're all that kind of shit going through it. But... We've got to <sighs> gotta balance it all. And that gets overwhelming for me. That gets overwhelming for me. But when I like ground myself and get into like my practices, like my spiritual tools that I have, I start to like come to my clarity and my senses and know that like I can do this, that everything's working out for me. Everything's working out for me. It's going to work out for me. I have to know that. Like it looks fucked right now. Like it looks fucked, but like it's not going to be. This is a season of my life that I need to get through. This is just a season, babe. It's just a season. You got this. I love you. <sighs> okay, let's go door dashing. Let's see. I'm gonna listen to some music. I'm gonna do some door dash. I'm gonna lift my spirit back up. I'll report back with how much I made. 
I might like pop in. We'll see. We'll see if I like get too into it or not, but we'll see. But I'm hanging in there. Hang in there with me. If anyone can relate to like the ways that I'm feeling, um, just know you're not alone. I'm 29 years old and I'm starting my life all over again. And it's not fucking easy. So it's going to be okay though. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. I just got to hold on. All right, let's get after it. I'm taking a break. Please look what I'm having. Corn and smoothie. Mango smoothie with ginger. My grandma made corn on the cob. <laughs> it's kind of loud right now because of this air vent. But like, let's get into the corn really quick, see how it tastes. I love corn. One thing about me, fun fact, I love corn. I'm home. Yes, I am. And I'm about to eat a salad. LOL at the fact that I thought I was going to make $200 today. Or wanted to. I literally made 52 It was slow. As fuck. So... I stopped and went to the gym and then now I'm home about to watch the after sun episode because it's the one where Aaron and Kayla and Rob and Cassie are gonna be on there so like tuning in and then I'm gonna fucking like stare into the oblivion and go to bed and then wake up and do it all over again so I love you so much today was today and um my life didn't end I'm still here I feel better than I did when I first started the day so love you so much and I'll see you later